Well, hey folks, I hate making videos like this. Some of you guys might remember our video on Super Smash Bros. Uh, and the free Melee movement slash, it's really free Smash movement because it's not just about Melee. It's Nintendo's really, we, we, we did a whole video, a long video, a 25 minute video dedicated to Nintendo's wrongdoings of the Super Smash Bros. community, both in Melee, Brawl, Ultimate, etc., 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 Smash for Wii U and 3DS. Nintendo uh, kind of lets the Smash community exist while also not letting the Smash community exist. Now, for those who don't know, Nintendo has had another game that they do support. They, they, they have actively supported Splatoon and ARMS at tournament levels, including hosting their own tournaments. And there's been an ongoing tournament for Splatoon 2 in North America for a little bit now. Uh, some of this tournament, in fact, has been live-streamed. Uh, but here we are today, and Nintendo has canceled the live-stream of the finals of this event. And what they claim is logistical reasons. Logistical reasons. But let's go over something that happened heading into this finals that's different than the rest of the tournament. So on Twitter, this guy at Slimy Quagsire says, So the Splatoon community, in support of the Smash community, has 30% of the top teams in this weekend's Splatoon 2 North American Open with team names in support of Melee and Smash. So what does at Nintendo America and at Nintendoverse do in response? They canceled their live stream for tomorrow's finals. That they'll sever their own support that they love to parade around as something so fantastic just because the Splatoon community wanted st to stand in solidarity with the other scenes that Nintendo outright harms. So here it is. Due to unexpected executional challenges, we had to forego a live stream for this tournament's finals. This is actually public on uh, the Nintendo versus Twitter. Um, here's some of the top teams in the tournament. Melee Nation. A direct link to a uh, Twitter account. Golf Club. Free Melee 2111. DUI Noggles. Free Melee 227. 5 a.m. squad, healthy diet food groups, element free melee, friends. As you're seeing here, a bunch of the top teams that were going to be participating in the finals had decided they, they wanted to support the Super Smash Bros. movement. This is just the most frustrating thing ever. For There are still those out there, when I made that Smash video, that wanted to give Nintendo a pass. I said, you know what? Nintendo never wanted Smash to be competitive. Nintendo, Nintendo never cared about the competitive community. Nintendo, you know, people are just whining to whine because Nintendo won't support something that Nintendo never said they would support, even though they have said they would support, and then they pulled support, they even signed a contract with Twitch, and then they pull, pulled out. Well, they didn't really pull out. They told Twitch, hey, don't bother to honor our contract because, hey, we have a new game coming out. We might want to update the contract to include that new game but the contract was never updated and to this date there are still no officially sanctioned nintendo supported smash tournaments happening with cash prizes well here's the thing this tournament being ran by nintendo this is a nintendo ran tournament with splatoon 2 is saying they cannot live stream due to logistical reasons which again many of these teams are playing online in the first place so what the hell is the logistical reason because nintendo has already live streamed this tournament that was online only on their channels before this isn't new for nintendo this isn't new nintendo knows how to get the streams of the splatoon 2 matches to their headquarters to live stream back out to people they've already done it like you can understand on, on a surface level if this was something that, you know, was just too difficult to pull off. Like, I imagine if I was running a Splatoon 2 tournament uh, with full teams, you know, that maybe it wouldn't be possible for this to happen. But you know what Nintendo has done for these tournaments? They have allowed themselves to be an extra player in the game as a spectator. And you guys know in spectator mode in Splatoon 2, you can do some some cool stuff. Well, here's the thing. They have allowed that to happen where people can kind of connect with Nintendo. Nintendo can live stream out their spectator modes to people and then they can commentate on the tournament. Basically, Splatoon 2 is perfectly set up to be an eSport, is what I'm trying to tell you. It's perfectly set up to be an eSport due to the spectator mode. There's no purpose for the spectator mode to exist except for 
esports. So Nintendo has the ability to make this work. We've seen them live stream tournaments that were online like this in the past. There has never been a problem for Nintendo. But now... When teams are popping up supporting the Smash community at a time that Nintendo of America and the rest of Nintendo is being essentially called out for the damage they are causing to the competitive scene that mostly just wants to be left the hell alone and allowed to run tournaments on their own without Nintendo's interference at this point. They're not even asking Nintendo to put money toward it. They just want Nintendo to say, it's cool, you can use Smash. That's all they want. They just want Nintendo to say, it's okay, you can run cash prize, you know, Big, giant Smash tournaments. We're good with that. You know, we'll take the free advertising. We're good with that. We don't even we don't even need to be involved. And I understand there's people that said, oh, you know, no, Nintendo shouldn't do this because, oh, you know, what happened with, a, you know, a very small part of the Smash community, by the way, that abused their positions, you know, in, in going after minors, right? It's a very tiny part of the actual Smash community. The actual Smash community is massive. The fact that there's only a handful of these stories... That's not that big a deal. I mean, it sucks it happened. I'm not trying to dismiss, you know, the the bad stuff. It's just there's bad actors everywhere. If, if we're going to worry about bad actors, then you might as well not ever have any sort of public anything because there's bad actors everywhere. There's bad actors here on YouTube. There was a Russian YouTuber who recently, uh, for $1,000 USD, locked his pregnant wife outside Uh in the cold and she died of hypothermia her and the baby of course think about it there are bad actors there are bad actors everywhere does that mean youtube should be canceled because some idiot in russia decided to do something so asinine for a money during a live stream this is dumb okay now Nintendo is not only affecting the Smash community, they're affecting the Splatoon community. Oh, the finals will be hosted. They will host the finals. They didn't cancel the finals. The finals will happen, and and not only will, will the finals happen, there will be a winner declared, and they'll probably even announce that winner on Twitter. Heck, maybe they'll even show highlights of the match, of the winning match on Twitter. Maybe. Unless it's one of these Melee teams that win. If one of these Smash community name change teams wins because these teams changed their name to be here if one of them wins what then what's next what now what are you supposed to do nintendo will bury it like this tournament never happened because nintendo doesn't want attention brought to something that they have actively worked against nintendo couldn't even leave splatoon 2 alone because the, the people in splatoon 2 were trying to support the smash community that's what this comes across as. Logistical reasons. What logistical reason? You have proven you can do streams like this in the past without people being in-house. So what logistical reasons? Even if there was like one team that was going to have a hard time being streamed, what about the rest? And why are you canceling now? You would have known about these logistical reasons weeks ago. Not the day before the event. The day before the event, they did this. The day before it was supposed to be live streamed, they canceled. You would have known about this a long time ago. Nintendo's already streamed parts of this tournament already. With no issue. With there being way more teams involved. They've already streamed it. So what changed? Oh, right. Some teams decided to officially change their names to something that supports the Smash Bros. community. Nintendo... Shame on you. I, I love your games. Heck, I love the Switch as a platform. I think, in general, you're a smart company. This is not smart. Whoever made this decision, it's not smart. It's not smart at all. What you've been doing to the Smash community hasn't been smart. You have a lot of bad PR going on right now. Way to just add to it. You might as well, might as well at this point, just tell everyone... You don't want competitive games to exist. Even though Splatoon 2 is clearly designed to be a competitive game. You don't want competitive games to exist. Because if you're not going to treat all your communities equally, then what the hell's the point? These Splatoon 2 teams didn't do anything wrong. Nintendo doesn't want to support the Smash community. Now they're canceling the Splatoon community. I'm, I'm just frustrated. I don't know what, what more we can do. We need somebody who's going to be interviewing someone like Doug Bowser to ask him directly about this 
And here's the thing. The most people that get the access like that are going to be media members like at Kotaku, at IGN. Do you really think they're going to ask Nintendo the hard question? Are they actually going to push Nintendo on this? The Smash community has been trying to get them to push, to push, push, uh, you know, these media outlets to ask Nintendo on the Smash stuff for years, and they've mostly avoided asking the questions. So, I'm putting this out there, and I'm begging you: if there's any media members out there that watch my channel that that have an opportunity to interview top brass at Nintendo, you know, not Sakurai, because I don't think Sakurai is making these decisions. I mean, someone like Doug Bowser. Right? Shintura Furukawa. If there's any of you out there that watch my channel, because I know some exist. Heck, I know there's Nintendo employees that watch sometimes. Get someone in an interview setting to ask them why they are not showing support and actively working against a community that can largely exist on its own in Smash, and why they're now deciding, oh, conveniently when, when teams change their name to support Smash, now we're canceling live streams. It's just extremely petty of you, Nintendo. So for shame. I'm Nathaniel Rubble Dance from Nintendo Prime. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you want to subscribe. We are on our road to 70,000 subscribers. Let's get there. There's something special happening in January if we somehow pull this off this Christmas season. All right, folks. I'll catch you in the next video.